you mentioned the Clippers have two wins against the Warriors. The Warriors fell to 10-3 and three in the season. There are three losses. They have two against the Clippers, as you said, one against the undefeated Cleveland Cavaliers. Look, man, Golden State, they, they had a bit of a weaker schedule earlier in the year, but they beat some really tough, good teams. They beat Boston. They beat Oklahoma City. Golden State feels like a very real team to me that's going to stay at the top of the Western Conference. Do you agree or not? God, I'm so just like it's I'm I, I want to agree so badly, Kevin, but there's just a piece of me that Mo? does. What do you not see? I just don't see the second option, right? Like on a night like tonight, like when, hey, we're just going to really pressure the hell out of the guards. They don't get a lot from everybody else. And I think that's kind of the thing that concerns me about them, right? You're going to have sometimes, and Buddy Heald started the season unbelievably well, right? Like uh, Andrew Wiggins has looked like the Andrew Wiggins when they went on that championship run, right? At least he, lo- he looks much better than he ha- has in years past. So like what you're seeing, but like I don't see anybody that I go, that is a clear cut, their number two option. On nights when Steph doesn't have it, that guy is going to pick it up, or that's a guy that can create for them on off, uh, create for them on offense when Steph's on the bench. I don't see that. And I'm not, you know, like as I think Kaminga's second option by default, but I don't think that's a guy that I feel confident to say, like, for a team that's going to be championship caliber, I don't know if that's good enough. You know, Buddy Heels hit or miss. Like, there's a lot of stuff where I just worry where is that second option coming from? Defensively, they're rock solid. That part I'm not worried about. It is their second option to me. I think that's a fair point. I do. Uh, I think with Golden State, they feel like one of those teams when I say they're going to be at the top of the standing still. I think regular season-wise, they're probably going to be okay. That concern you're talking about is more of a big playoff issue where they're throwing two at Steph, getting the ball out of his hands, and the ball's finding its it, – Lindy Waters in the corner as it did tonight or finding Gary Payton misses the last one or finds Draymond Green who's shooting better, but you don't want Draymond shooting at the end of the clock necessarily. They don't have that second guy. Now, to push back a little bit here, in the Western Conference, OKC, they're without Chet right now. That they, I mean, they are also still a very young team as well. Lakers, an old team with their own own flaws. Houston, they don't necessarily have that top end guy. They're another by committee team. Phoenix, they have a bunch of guys at the top end. Denver has Jokic, but then Jamal Murray, Nuggets fans hate him right now. Uh, they ha- he has fallen off. He is not playing at his peak powers. So that's just the top six in the West. And then never mind Minnesota who has had their own issues this season. Clippers, who are without Kawhi. Memphis, who have had – had who's the number two behind John Morant? Is it Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson? Can they elevate to that level? There's a lot of questions. That's of the top eight teams right now. There's a lot of questions with those teams in the Western Conference right now. So I think that's where I would say with Golden State, maybe, you know, with their depth, that, that they can be one of those teams where they can lift Steph enough alone. I mean, that's the good news for them, right, is that, hey, like the West is not at all shaking out in a way where you're just saying, hey, these are the two dominant teams or whatnot. And and the road goes through all of these, you know, goes through this team. There is no team that we can say is is definitively the roadblock in the Western Conference. But it also is there's going to be movement. There's going to be changes. Somebody's going to take a big swing. Houston's probably itching to pull the trigger to find that top line guy, right? You know, if the right well, who, opportunity who, comes. Who, though? Got us? I don't know who. I, 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 no, I don't no, think no. that it's guy's not available. Gonna be, is that, it's not going to be so honest. Who? It's not going to be I, honest. We can just stop I, with, with all Kevin that Kevin Durant? No. So, but like, so that's the thing. Like, who? I just don't but think you, that guy's going to be but available Kevin, this you know, year. You know this season. You know the way this league works. It could change in a week. Like, yeah. just all of a sudden, somebody gets upset and, oh, okay, no, I want out or whatnot or things like that. There's, there's that. <laughs> Joel, but that's Joel just, Embiid? No, I mean, I don't know if you want to trade for Joel Embiid, right? Exactly. Right. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's jumping in for that. But, like, I just think in general, though, I'm just Jimmy saying, Butler, like, there's Jimmy Butler going to move movement. the needle for a Houston? I don't know. You know, but there's just, but all I'm saying is, like, there's a possibility of stuff that's going to happen. Come, It's a long way to just a trade deadline. 
yes. you know, in that sense and stuff like that. There's a lot of move. The Warriors might be the team that makes the move, by the way. Like it's not mm-hmm. a it's not out of the realm of possibility. Like there's, absolutely, there's there's a lot of stuff there in that stuff. There's a lot of stuff that's going to change through the course of this season as we go through it. But just right now, like it it looks great for the Warriors. So like you know, my reservations aside, like. Yeah, there's there's definitely a reason to just look at them and go like, yeah, they they can definitely come out of the West. You all eight teams you named. I mean, like I'd feel confident about like five of them coming out of the West. It's 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 just that tough. And that's how deep the West is this year. 